Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Cheat Day. Today we are in San Antonio, Texas. We're going to be trying a place called Fahrenheit 32. They call themselves like an artisanal ice cream shop and snack um, snack place. Uh, so we're going to be trying that out today. Going to be getting a couple of things off the menu. So we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, we're back and we got our items from the menu. Uh, I, we both got a rolled ice cream thing each. Uh, I got what was called the gacha matcha. I'm a fan of matcha drinks, uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. You got? I got the YOLO for you obviously love Oreos. Yes, because every time we go somewhere that has something that has to do with cookies, she gets it. Speaking about that, we also got something called the Cookie Monster. Looks like a regular milkshake. I, I'm wondering if there's gonna be like a different flavor. It's so blue. Yeah, and then it's got like some cookies on top. So it look, it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, let's try the Cookie Monster first. Let's see. I can't tell if it's like a milk drink? Is it just like a milk drink? I'm so confused. Yeah. It's not like thick. I thought it was gonna be a milkshake. I don't know if it's because like I put it on the on the hood of the of the car. Or if it's like a milk drink, like a like a tea drink. I don't know. But it's very good. It tastes like cookies and cream, right? It does. But it has a little bit of a more creamy. Maybe it's just because it's not thick, like I'm used to like maybe Oreo chunks or There's little... also like a big straw though. So I'm wondering if that's also like attributing to some of like the ease of drinking it. I'm a big fan. I will say right now, I'm a big fan of the flavor. I'm not usually like one for like getting brain freeze when I'm having a milkshake. This is very easy to drink. So I'm very pleased with it. The flavor is cookies and cream. And I think the stuff on the side is probably just food coloring. I don't taste like a blueberry or like a, yeah, any no. kind of different it's flavoring with it. Yeah. But it's good. Mm -hmm. This is very good. Would recommend. Now we're gonna go on to our uh, rolled things. I have um, a condensed milk drizzle on top. I have strawberries, blueberries, and these looks like these look like pocky sticks. I think that's what they're called. And it has like I guess like a matcha covering on it. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Let's see. And yours has what Mine on top? Mine is literally cookies and cream ice cream, whipped cream and Oreos. Yeah. So that's the way hers comes. I don't know if this is the way mine comes. I just told the girl to make it put, what, put whatever put whatever was like supposed to be on top i think yeah we just got them how they were on the menu yeah but you can add unlimited toppings mm -hmm. well that's fantastic mm. i've had rolled ice cream before i really don't understand the science behind it i guess like the surface that they do it on is like very like 32 degrees or whatever like below to freeze it um oh yeah this tastes like matcha so i'm not like confused by the flavors it, it's really good i on the other hand have never had rolled ice cream mm. so this is interesting what do you think it tastes like normal ice cream right mm -hmm. does it have a different texture to you yeah really that's surprised i mean i'm surprised but i mean it's good it's just i'm not used to that mm -hmm. think about the flavor like a usual cookie and cream flavor usual cookies and cream i think the biggest thing about this place is presentation like, it took them a little bit to make it, but like, mm -hmm. I'm satisfied. I'm impressed. I'm never mad about a place taking like a little bit longer than usual to make something. Mm -hmm. As long as they like make up for it in how it looks and like the flavor. Like I don't want my 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 thing to be rushed and then it not taste good. It has a different texture to me, but I enjoy it. It's just not melting as fast. Like that's I think that's what it mainly is. It tastes a little bit thicker. Not not taste, but like it feels a little bit uh -huh. thicker than like most ice cream. And like, here I'm gonna put a little video of like what it looks like once you've like taken a couple bites out of it. I just ate a whole roll at a time. So. Yeah, so you can see like right there in the middle, it kind of, you can tell the difference between like this ice cream and like one that's just like in a gallon or like when they like put scoops. So it's it's, it's like a very different thing. Um, let's go ahead and rate it to, to finish this off. Okay. Um, I want to rate the Cookie Monster is that what the drinks called? Mm -hmm. A seven out of ten. <gasps> Why? Because I want it. I thought it was gonna be a milkshake, so I expected it to be a little thicker. Mm -hmm. It's good, but if I came back, I think I would. I would get this. Like I would get the rolled ice cream mm -hmm. rather 
rather than that. I'm gonna go a little bit higher. And that's because, like I, like I said, it's a very big like presentation thing to me. I'm gonna say like an eight, at least. Like an eight, eight for and a half. Drink? For the drink, for the Cookie Monster. Because I like the presentation. I'm not lacking anything flavor-wise. It, it tastes like a cookies, cookie and cream milkshake. You're right, it's not like super thick, but I don't know if it was even supposed to be super thick. That's what I'm saying. I was expecting it to be thick. And when I think milkshake, I think super like thick. Oreo pieces in it, but it's just like- A drink. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more so a drink than it is like a milkshake, yes. which is different. So, I'm not used to that. Yeah. It's just a different thing. Mm -hmm. um, my gacha matcha, uh, it tastes like matcha, so like I'm not going to dock points for that. I love the toppings that go on top. Um, very like fruity. Not really like a contrast, but like if you know what matcha tastes like, and it like with the with the fruit on top, it's like a really good combination. And then that sweetened condensed milk on top, it's just really good. Uh, I didn't try the pocky six. Hold on. Yeah, it's got a matcha covering. But uh, presentation, taste, texture, I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a solid nine. I was gonna give this a nine too. Yeah, like it's not like out of the park, like crazy things. But like what you see on Instagram or what you see on their, you know, like different social media accounts is what you're going to get. You're never going to be disappointed. I can already tell. Yeah. And like in the way they make the things, they're very, very nice. Just very good presentation. Very good taste. Yeah. Yeah. The presentation adds a lot for me. Yeah. It's so, really good. Really good. I thought the store itself was really cute too. Mm -hmm. Good vibe. Yeah. I don't think you're going to be ever disappointed in coming to this place. It's fantastic. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. This is a little bit of a shorter video, and I'm happy about that because that means less editing for Daniel. Yay. Yes. Yay. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for um, subscribing and liking. I just put it on my Instagram today um, that I reached over a thousand minutes in watch time total, which was honestly like a bit of a shock. Like I make these videos because I kind of want to document, you know, where I'm eating and uh, like the different things I try. Uh, and I'm just glad that you guys are taking the time to, to watch and hopefully you're going to these places after I film the videos. It's a really cool concept that, I, that you guys have spent over a thousand minutes watching this, so it's really cool. Anyway, that's it for today, bye. <laughs>